What if you wash your hands non-stop? Well, I can tell you one thing. They won't have any more poo on them because after you drop your phone in a public toilet, not your personal toilet, the public toilet, way more nasty, you'll be reaching down for that phone, okay? But 15 seconds before, you'll develop a phobia of germs. After you do that thing, you're gonna be washing your hands ASAP. Three minutes after washing non-stop, you remove germs from your skin. Oh, well, you're good. You're good. You go home and you'll be good. But after five minutes, your hands feel clean and they are clean, so go the heck home. But no, after 17 minutes, you get wrinkly fingers. I hate this. I really hate this. Like going in a pool, swimming, and then like that grippy fist. <laughs> but apparently guys, I read this somewhere. The reason your, your body does that is because you could grip better underwater or something. Maybe, maybe I didn't even read that. Maybe that's just something I made up. I don't even know. But after 23 minutes, you'll have mild irritation. Okay, now it's, it's, getting, it's getting pretty bad. Overzealous hand hygiene can cause skin irritation. Yeah, those things are probably red and dry. The second you stop and dry them off, they're gonna be so dry, you'll need some lotion, man. Yeah, oh, okay, no, after 36 minutes for sure though, those natural oils are stripped away. The soap's pH may cause a mild disruption of the skin barrier. After 41 minutes, slight sens sensation of tightness. After your skin starts losing its natural oils, it starts feeling tight. So are they basically telling me that I don't have any oils in my hands right now? Because they always feel tight and I need some lotion. Oh, I was wrong, guys. I guess you have to wait till 48 minutes of non stop before the skin gets dry. The skin's urea, lactic acid, and amino acids are stripped away. Also guys, I noticed if you use like, what is it? Di some sort of dish soap. I'm not calling any names out here. But like the grease remover one, if you use it on your hands, you it literally peels your hands off. Like last week, I got like a, a peel in my skin and I was like, what the heck? Then I realized it's from this grease stuff. It literally, it gets rid of the grease, but it gets rid of your skin too. Right down to the bone. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Not quite. But in here, we probably will get down to the bone. Stay tuned to find out. And while you're at it, take a moment to go slap that like button. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three. Subscribe while you're at it. Two, one. Okay. After 53 minutes, your hands turn red. Ooh. On darker complexions, these conditions may cause the skin to become darker. Oh. Hangnails after 58 minutes. A hangnail is small, torn piece. Yeah, I know what a hangnail is. I have like so many of them. You know, maybe there is something wrong with my hands. They're always dry. They have hangnails. Maybe I need to get to do soap. But guys, beware. I'm about to show you a hangnail. I don't know if you guys could see that. Can you see my hangnail? I don't know. After one hour, disruption of skin barrier. Soap can wash out. Oh, so they think we still got soap on our hands. Okay. I mean, I would think after an hour, the soap would all be gone and it'd just be water, but soap can wash away good bacteria, which damages your skin barrier. Two hours, increased sensitivity. Are they showing a feather will hurt? Oof. Tiny fistures appear. They look like tiny cuts or cracks in the skin. I might already have that. After four hours, it, the inflammation starts. Five hours, your skin starts to flake. The flaking process is your skin's way of recovering from some type of damage. After six hours though, the flakes are gone and your skin's starting to crack. These cracks can make it difficult to use hands normally. After seven hours, you'll have painful hands. Only seven hours, guys. Up until then, you you won't be hurting. Won't be sore, no, won't be nothing. After eight hours, your hands feel itchy. Well, how, how are you itchy if there's constantly water and constantly going like this? Wouldn't you think you're itching it away? Like I could see if you go like this, but the whole point of the video is non-stop after eight hours. So something's a little fishy here, guys. After nine hours, your hands start to peel. Or just throw some dish soap in there that removes grease and you got the peeling already after one minute. Actually, probably like five to 10, but after 10 hours, burning sensation due to the skin being broken. 10.5 hours, cracks in the skin deepen. Not just a surface level, guys. As the skin gets thick and calloused over time, it loses elasticity. After 11 hours, the skin feels rough to the touch. 11.5 hours, you start to bleed. But at least you're washing your hands, you know, the blood's going down the sink. 12 hours, nerve endings become exposed. They become more exposed as protective layers break down. Oh, and then it's like, <gasps> and guys, that actually makes me think. I started going for pedicures, yep, on my feet with my girlfriend. I think we've gone three times now, like three, th the past three months, you know? This last time I had to put my foot down. <laughs> Literally, because when it comes to that part, they pull out literally a potato grinder. This thing right here, okay? And they go like this. And it doesn't actually hurt, but just the way I think and the way I'm like right now, as soon as I like go home and start walking on my feet, it's no longer rough. Now, like when I when I touch the hardwood floor without a sock on, it feels grippy and sticky. And just the thought of it and me knowing it's fresh skin, ooh, ooh, ooh. And like, it makes me think of this. Like what if they peel it down and it's like, ah, ah, ah. So last time guys, I actually asked them to, to skip the 
Whoosh, and just use their little um cheese graters. Put in some cheese. 12.5 hours, pain intensifies. It often feels like shooting, stabbing, or burning sensation. 13 hours, though, those things are dehydrated. How are they dehydrated if they're constantly getting water for 13 hours? Something's a little suspicious here. 13.5 hours, blood vessels become damaged. You're done. Permanent damage, guys. Just kidding, I don't know. But the nerve endings after 14 hours are damaged as well. Damage to these nerves can cause muscle weakness and painful cramps. 14.5 hours, your hands are now swell. You would think once you get inflamed, like a couple hours in, they'd be, they'd be swell. But now they're going to be really swell. They're going to be like this. Mm-hmm. And this isn't editing, by the way. I actually did this in real life. 15 hours, the blisters start appearing. Blisters increase the risk of bacterial and fungal infections. 15.5, you get brittle nails. Repeated exposure to water and harsh soap can make nails brittle. 16 hours, open wounds form. No, 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 no. Water, you know, guys, water's pretty light, but once it's hidden for 15 hours and you're scrubbing, you're down to your, the flesh, I guess. 16.5 hours, immune response becomes weaker. Overworked immune system can't probably protect you. Might get some infections now. Might have to cut them things off. After 17 hours, loss of skin functionality. This could play a role in conditions like e eczema and psoriasis. So, sorry, sorry, sis. 17.5 hours, increased risk of infection. Well, good thing you got soap on your hands still. And if you don't have soap on your hands still, make sure to pump some soap so you, got, you ain't getting infected. Make sure you clean those germs away. After 18 hours, increased fluid loss. If the skin barrier is comp compromised, it's harder to protect against fluid loss. What does that mean? After 18.5 hours, severe dehydration of skin. Your skin may start to lose its elasticity and moisture severely. After 19 hours, you get a headache. Yeah, probably because you haven't went to bed yet. Not from washing your hands, you probably get a headache because you're tired. Dehydration is believed to be a contributing factor to some headaches. 19.5 hours, you start to feel numb. I'm sure you were numb hours ago because you need to be sleeping by now. You're almost up for 24 hours. After 20 hours, the fatigue kicks in. Yes, inflammatory response can cause tiredness by diverting the body's resources. And that's totally why you're tired. It's not because you've been up for 20 hours scrubbing. 21, you got pus leaking out. You might notice pus or other signs of bacterial infection. Well, it's because you haven't been washing with soap. Come on. Germs enter through the skin. Well, how are you getting germs? How are you getting germs if you're constantly cleaning them? After 23 hours, damage extends to deeper layers. Damage might extend beyond the epidermis to the dermis. After one day, middle layer of skin is affected. Oh, we're getting deep. I thought we were at the flesh. How are we just in the middle there. Uh, after 1.3 days, hair fo follicles affected. Repeated exposure to soap and water can weaken the hair shaft. Ooh, you get a disgusting smell after a day and a half. Accumulation of bacteria can lead to the release of unpleasant odors. I don't think so. You probably pooped your pants. It's been a full day. Come on, full day and a half at that. 1.8 days, arm hair breakage. Why oh, your arm hair? Are we scrubbing way up here? I thought we were scrubbing our hands. How are you getting all these hairs? After two days, ulcers appear. Skin ulcers are open sores caused by poor blood circulation. Almost two and a half days, your hair starts falling out. The ability of the follicle to produce healthy hair is reduced. After 2.8 days, sweat glands affected. This could affect their ability to produce sweat effectively. I don't know what that does or means, but yo, not good guys, not good. But after three days, you get severe skin damage. I think we understood that you, you, your skin is damaged. Three and a half days, loss of the grip strength. Oh, my hands, I can't do it. After three and a half days, sweat glands are blocked. Dead skin cells, dirt, and oh up, oh up, oh up. Residues build up and blocks the sweat ducts. After 3.8 days, red bumps. Sweat becomes trapped under the skin. Oh, you're done. You're cooked now. After four days, your nerves are you're severely damaged. Mm -mm. A nerve injury can affect the brain's ability to communicate with the muscles. Oh, so now you can't even. Come on, close it. Uh-uh, it ain't gonna do that. After 4.1 days, loss of sensation. Nerve damage can result in partial loss of sensation in the affected area. Now you can't even feel anything. Can't move it, can't feel it, it's useless. But you're still washing your hands, guys. You're still washing. After 4.2 days, significant scarring. Severe damage to the skin's deeper layers can lead to significant scarring. After 4.4 days, you can't move your fingers. Oh, now they're completely cooked. Then after 4.7 days, your nails fall off. Once your toenail falls off, it can't reattach itself and keep growing. Ooh. Whoa, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. One time, I forget what happened. Oh, I don't even think about it. My big toe nail completely came off. Nasty thing ever. It hurts so much. Had to grow back, man. I can't do that. I can't do that. But it will grow back. If you stop washing now, you actually no, if you stop washing now, your hand's already cooked. You can't feel it. Can't move it. It's infected. Nothing's happening in your hand. You probably you probably won't even go back. After five days, you expose, na you expose the nail bed. When a nail falls off, the sensitive nail bed underneath is exposed. 5.3 days, systemic effects begin. Whatever the heck that big words mean. Um, the body's immune system responds to the lo local infection. Oh, just now it's it's responding? Huh? Okay. Oh, the whole body. I got it now. Now you get the chills. Now you get the chills. Chills can occur as an early warning signal that the body is fighting an illness. Then the fever comes on. Now you got a full-blown cold. Fever comes on after 5.6 days. 5.9 days, increased heart rate. 
Oh, it's pumping. Necrosis after six days. As the tissue damage progresses, part of the skin could begin to die. Die. It dies. 6.3 days. Gangrene in Oh, no, no, no. This is when it's scary. This is when it's scary. Have you ever seen those pictures or like videos? What frostbite does? Like your fingers, it like turns, like it's gone. Like nothing. There's no blo blood flowing up there. Uh-uh, that's scary. That's what this is. Oh, oh. Skin becomes dark after 6.5 days. Oh my goodness. There's no blood flowing anymore. It's done. 6.8 days, you got the serious infections. If bacteria enter the bloodstream, this can cause more serious infections. But good thing you're still washing your hands. After seven days, permanent scarring. Long-term damage. Yeah, we understand there's scars, okay? 7.2 days, potential sepsis. Oh, that's when you're like done. Bacterial or fungal infections could become sy systemic, potentially new sepsis. Get to the hospital now. Basically, stop washing your hands. But this is also a week without sleeping. So there's a whole bunch of stuff wrong with you. After 7.3 days, lumps of flesh fall off. No, 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 no. 7.4 days, hospitalization is required. Yeah, I, yeah, well, you should have done that a long time ago. But how could you do that if you don't stop washing your hands? Huh? After 7.9 days, permanent loss of sensation. Yeah, it's done. Might as well not even have your hand. Can't even use it, can't feel it, can't do nothing. After eight days, permanent disability. Oh, okay, now you can't use it. 8.2 days, your bones are now exposed. That would be scary. No, that's not even possible. Surely you'd bleed out before then, right? After nine days, you go to the hospital. You can't, you have to stop washing your hands. You have to stop washing your hands. Or they can get a mobile washing sink. So then you can lead to 10 days. And after 10 days, your hand gets amputated and then you can no longer wash your hands. So hopefully none of you guys ever have to experience that. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.